Welcome back to my dev vlog. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a different type of dev vlog. Instead of me just talking to the camera the entire time, I'm going to show you some of the work I've done on my game. So, as you can already see from the window here, I'm in Godot, and I already have a main menu. So, let's just get into it. So, I just have the main menu scene here with a simple script on it, and it just processes the play and quit button. I have a, just a vertical container here containing buttons, and I have a background color note. And I can actually run the game, and I, and the play button works. Uh, the test level is a little different. I believe I've also changed the weapon model since last devlog, so that is interesting. I added weapon switching, so now you have, a uh, m4 and an mp5 the mp5 is a little imbalanced right now uh its fire rate is stupidly insane and but at least i have balanced it by adding some form of spread you can also tell that there is aiming down the sights it's not really aiming down the sights it's more just zooming in but that works for both the m4 and the mp5 um i still haven't added reload animations yet i have been working on the vehicle ai it's just a btr right now this is a temporary model but if you want to give me feedback on this model then just comment down below uh i'm always open to new feedback uh but yes as you can see here the turret looks at me and i want it to start attacking me but i haven't programmed it, that in yet so that that's actually it for the btr so it just indefinitely looks at me and will attack me once I program that in. I added this little area over here. That you can currently see. And it just has two enemies in it. And the enemies can attack you. And they can hurt you. And the health subtracts. And damage really gets shown. And you can actually die. But instead of just showing a game over scene it just instantly reloads i want to add that in the future um <laughs> there's a pause menu not really anything special it uses the same theme that the main menu uses so i just found that pretty cool there's a camera shake and it lessens when you zoom in aim also or not aim uh bullet spread also decreases when you zoom in so this is the base spread for the m4a1 without aiming and then this is the spread when you're aiming so it gets a lot more concentrated uh that btr does not actually see me right now i want to make the vision radius bigger um and i have this little ramp here right now you can slide down it uh i'm probably going to fix that in the future i just don't really know how <laughs> Uh, so that might pose a problem. The bullet holes work on uh, slope surfaces. I still haven't added anything down here yet, but it does give a nice overview of the battlefield. Uh, I decreased the crouching height, so instead of it being all the way down, it's a little bit less. And the prone height is a lot further down. So, that's pretty neat. I have made a new GitHub release, so you can go check that out. It just contains all of this besides the BTR actually working. So, that's pretty much it. I can go back to the main menu and then I can quit. I have not created an icon for the game yet. Uh... So right now it's just the Godot logo, but I will get an icon in the future. And I think it's time to talk about story for this game. I've never really talked about story before. So I don't know if this is going to be controversial or not, but in the in this universe that's set during 2025, Russia and the United States are both in the Middle East and they're fighting insurgents and a United States SEAL team was sent out to get some intel on insurgent forces, but Russian Spetsnaz were also undercover when that happened, and it resulted in the death of Russian Spetsnaz and Russia declaring war on the United States. There is multiple acts to this campaign. There's Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3. Act 1 is set during Middle East 
During the first stages of the war, you defend cities, forward operating bases, military bases, and everything in between, and even launch some counter operations. Act 2 is set in the United States. You're, you play as a, I think it's a Delta or a Army Ranger for the majority of that act. And then in Act 3, Russia has just completely wiped the United States off the map. And you play as a Navy SEAL in the eastern part of Russia. Yeah, the eastern part of Russia. And you just ally with Russian rebels that split off when the war started, and you just launch counter assaults on Russian forward operating bases, military bases, and cities. So it went from mostly offensive and a little bit defensive, to mostly defensive and a little bit of offensive, to half and half. So that's pretty much it for the story. I have not updated the story document yet on the GitHub page, however, just because it is... I, I don't want everything about the game to be there on the GitHub page for everybody to see, because I don't even know if I'm going to fully develop this game yet. But if you want to contribute, uh, license is MIT. Um, you can contribute to the source code, you can check out issues that haven't been created yet, or you can just add whatever you want, as long as it fits into the story. But, uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, helps out channel. I did my outro. Be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're feeling extra generous. It helps out channel, helps get content like this recommended to others. That's all from me for now. Fun Uber, out. Awkwardly turn off the camera. Or not off the camera, uh, stop recording. That's what I want to do. Yeah.